Good morning. <laughs> I feel like I gotta use these ones. Cause it's Christmas. But this one. Can always get weird. I mean, she's already a fiender. But now she decided, I don't know what scared her yesterday, but she peed on my blanket. Either one, she was mad at me, I left for work. Somebody was here though, so she couldn't have been, she wouldn't, I don't get it. Why she would have been afraid. Ah, yummy. Anyway, she peed on my blanket. Not once. So I don't know what that was about, because she never does that. I mean, she did poo in my room, but we had the door shut and that was our fault. She must have really had to go poo. And that was, that was like a month and a half ago. So I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. But that can't be happening. At all. you doing right now? Anyways, that's sick. I will not put up with that one. Easy breezy, simple breakfast. One piece of Ezekiel bread. What's it? Well, I attempted to do two egg whites, but one of the yolks fell in. So I tried to pick it out. So there's some egg yolk in there. And a little bit of Light Ranch and some ketchup. Just a little bit. I'm just gonna actually pour it on the ketchup and the ranch. Left handed, so let's do this. Organize. I was gonna get a reindeer and Santa. But then I'd have to, I mean, I guess I could use them year round. But I just, that's my newest toilet one. My daughter's bagel, <laughs> cream cheese and bagel. <laughs> I can't have. Oh my gosh, last night, you guys. I was hungry. I made dinner. I'm well, not a cup of it. I made um, low salt turkey or turkey. Oh gosh, low salt tuna um, tuna bake because he likes that. I'm not too fond of warm tuna, but it had veggies in there and. But anyways, I had a cup of that. And then after dinner, I'm like, I want a corn dog. And he's like, you're not eating a corn dog. And I'm like, he goes, I'm like, all right, I'm not, not going to eat a corn dog. Corn dog. He goes, I'm so tired, I'm going to bed. Corn dog, corn dog, corn dog, corn dog, corn dog. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> corn dog, corn dog, corn dog. Oh, and I was feeding like cannoli. And I have my, you can't see it, but it's, it's my um, air fryer. And I'm like, he's like, I'm going to bed. And I'm like, okay, good night. Corn dog, corn dog. And literally I got one out and I'm like, is he coming? Can I hear him in the bathroom? So I nuked it. So the, the hot dog, because I took it out of the freezer. So I nuked it really quick. Cause he was peeing because we the door the walls here so i can hear him in the bathroom so i turned the thing on really quick and i opened it i'm like and i ran to the fryer really or the air fryer popped it in there turn it on i'm like oh god don't let him come out don't let him come out like literally like cannoli like but it was good <laughs> but then i felt bad i'm like 
<laughs> Corn dog. <laughs> True story. My sister was on a diet and she wanted wiener schnitzel so bad that on her cheat day, that's all she could think about is getting up in the morning, not even waiting till lunch to go get her cheat meal and got into a car wreck. That's bad. And still got her wiener schnitzel. After the car wreck. That's bad. Oh, my friends, it didn't end there. No. Didn't. Then I had a sweet tooth. So not only did I eat dinner, but I had a corn dog that was friggin' amazing. I thought, oh, I got a sweet tooth. So I'll get some all natural peanut butter and some all natural jam. Mix that together because I wanted something sweet. And I was like, ooh, that'd just be good like that. And I'm like, oh no, let's have some graham crackers with it. You know, the little. You know, the little pouches that comes in? I ate every one but two. Stupid graham crackers. So after I was done, I was like... I wasn't like I was full, but I was like... I feel like shite. Eight crackers, which would be two, two sheets. Is 3.5 grams. So I had one, two, three, four, six of them. I don't normally do that. So I woke up this morning going, I'm not hungry. But I know I gotta eat because then I'm near that burrs and fries today. And that wouldn't be a good time. But, hey, that's life. What you going to do? Per time. That's what I need. Come in. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing that. Now my half sandwich is cold. So, keeping it real. Stupid corn dog. And that's not something I normally would eat. That's what I need, however. You know when you try to do good too, and you order something, it's always best to eat at home. But when you're really trying to do good, Example. Hi. I like to order the baked chicken with some lemon. With a baked potato. And I'm going to replace, you know, the rice. Just give an example. For some veggies. Well, not like that. Can I have some chicken? <laughs> with some lemon? Or the lemon chicken and the baked potato plain. I'm going to replace everything else with some veggies. I'm like, proud of myself. Didn't get the bread. Passed on the salad. Because, you know, you can't get a healthy salad at a restaurant. I mean, you could, but then, you know, no. I'd rather have the baked potato, you know, plain. Eat half of it. And then my kids, my husband laugh at me because I put my hair up before I eat. 
because I'm like ready to get down. Like nothing's getting in my way. Normally I do have my hair up. Not this morning. Well, anyways, so you're sitting there. You put your hair up, waiting for your food to come. And they put it down and you're like, what did you get? I didn't order this. Because now I have a breaded chicken. I have like a loaded potato and like mac and cheese. And I'm like, I didn't order that. And I'm the type of person I'm not like, excuse me, that's not what, I don't do that. No. So they lay it down and I'm, and nobody else is paying attention to your meal, you know? They're just paying attention to what they got. But theirs is all right. So I kind of look at everyone and I'm like, okay, <clears throat> let's recap here. Did I ask one for grilled chicken? He said, yeah. And I'm like, breaded with cheese. Did I ask for like no rice? Yep. Macaroni and cheese. Did I ask for a baked potato? Plain. Yep. That has bacon, cheese, chives, sour cream. And at that point, you're looking at it and you're salivating. So you're like, mm -hmm, I'm not going to give it back. <laughs> it's their mess up, not mine. So yeah, I ate it. Happens to me all the time. I'm really trying to do good. And nobody else cares because they're just eating their perfectly ordered food. Oh, that happens. It's real. So I would rather make food at the house. Whatever. I tried, right? Nine times, nine times out of ten, I do good. However, I am an emotional eater. It just is what it is. But most of the time, I do good. Did I want a cream cheese giant bagel? Hell yeah! But did I? Nope. My intention's two egg whites, but one yolk fell in. You try picking it out and it breaks all over. What I'm talking about. Whatever. I think I'm losing it. I bought Lola a Christmas present and brought it home. I'm like, no. It's right over there. Then, I FaceTime one of my meatballs to show him what I got. Whoa. And then, my mistake of buying her two of the same thing. She goes, take that back. You bought her one last year. But now that I think about it, I kind of remember that one. Mm-hmm. Too much going on. Seize the moment. YOLO. Yeah. Not only did we buy her one, two, three, and then she bought her one. So she has four. <laughs> I'm going to take that one back. You guys want to see it? 
This makes me happy. That's delicious with that. And what little girl went like this four times over? <laughs> I gotta take it back, get her something else. Yep. Put something over there. Am I gonna wrap? <laughs> and I'm not the nice type of wrapper. I'm gonna get this done right now because I hate wrapping. I had a friend when I was young. Her mother like had a whole layout. Like she would lay it down, like measure it, cut it. I mean, everything was, like, perfect. And I'm like, even way back then, I was looking like, our family don't do it like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Little bow, ribbons, glitter. No. Their tree was perfect. <laughs> oh, girl. You would die if you came to my house. Tree now, however, has evolved into perfection presence wrapping remains the same I use way too much wrapping paper I put the gift on there I roll it over I get ribbon instead of you know doing the nice neat nah. <laughs> Amateurs. you get ribbon on the side tie a bow ribbon like a candy a piece of candy tie it one present done! Like one less than a minute. Next one, same thing, but you roll it really quick. Make sure everything's wrapped. Roll up the edge, tape it. Roll up the edge, tape. Oh, and then Christmas boxes. Yes! Because you just sew it in there and then tape, you know, the edges. That's it, you're done. Slap a bow on there. If if the if that package is lucky to get a bow, that present, it will get a bow. It all looks nice. But big guy. I like when he wraps because it is pretty. He has more patience than I. And he does a little bit more. He's all about the love. Tawny. Shopping for those gifts was about the love. Taking that extra time and wrapping it nicely. They're going to rip it apart anyways. They don't care. They want what's in it. And we're not the type of people that put our presents under the Christmas tree anyways. Because our meatballs were sneaky. And they would peak. Like, no, they would always know everything they were going to get before one Christmas morning. Because then I would go give the present out. And on the very back side, there would be a rip that clearly was open. Stuck back down. So they all knew. So that we got smart to that. So we have wrapped everything. Stuck them in big bags put them in the rafters in the garage and lock the garage nope not this year nope not gonna happen <sighs> big guy finally got some sleep he didn't sleep last night no, the night before. Only an hour, poor guy. So prayers for sleep for him. He never sees me cry. I do it when he sleeps. Or out of the room. I'm having a hard time with knowing he's going to get sick. biting my nail not biting my nails but the skin around not biting it but I'll like pick it off but oh my gosh look bleeding bleeding that's how I know when I'm like a nervous wreck because I'm like not a biter but I will pick that's where I have to reflect a little bit because I'm having a really hard time with 
I don't want to see him. Nobody wants to see anybody get sick. But it's in my face. And I know it's going to happen. And I'm like, oh, I'm not ready for that. I don't even know how to prepare for that. Ugh. He's getting some testing done. Some more testing. He's still not on the donors list because he has more tests to do. We have to meet with the panel of people on the 4th. But you do what you do, and you got to do for your loved ones. That's it. You rocky bubble it. You can come out. That's my cue. I got to give Meatball her bagel. All right, love you guys. Toodle noodles, lost to pasta later gator. Big Meatball loves and hugs. Hey, Liana.